land to land surrounded by water, the lovely island of Sicily, which looks on the map as though Italy were trying to kick it into Africa. But don't let the map fool you. Nobody in his right mind would want Sicily to be anywhere but exactly where it is, in the middle of the Mediterranean, halfway between the ancient civilizations of Europe and the wild splendor of Africa. And on reflection, the atmosphere of Sicily is halfway between the two as well. Sicily was the first country in the world to become a Roman province 22 centuries ago. One of the snags about living in the middle is that you're always getting taken over. Before the Romans, it was the Phoenicians, the Greeks, the Carthaginians, and later on, the Saracens and the Normans. But they all left riches behind them, and of course descendants who have their own ways of remembering their ancestors, including the local art of puppetry. Sicily is proud of its colourful handicrafts, and each area has its own specialities. Here in Teomina, on the east coast, it is painted carts. These particular ones are very old, from a museum collection, but the art is still practised. And if you're going to all that trouble to decorate the cart, you might as well decorate the horse as well. While he was exploring the museum, our cameraman spotted some charming old national costumes and persuaded some charming young national types to show them to you, which makes him very persuasive and you very privileged because he discovered it was the first time they'd been worn for 200 years. In 3,000 years, Sicily has absorbed the genius of many civilizations and made them into something entirely its own. But its people are too vigorous and colorful to live entirely in the past. And even things as modern as holiday camps, they still manage to make different from the ones in other countries. This is the Club Mediterranean, where you eat at communal tables in the open air, and of course in the sun, you can depend on it to shine. Thatched huts replace the familiar chalets, reminding you that Sicily is less than a hundred miles from Africa. With such a climate, it's no wonder Sicily has tempted invaders from the Phoenicians onwards. They still come, but now it's with passports and cameras and hotel bookings. A much better arrangement, the islanders think. <laughs> 